Hi cuties, my name is Quincy and I make videos three times a week every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I would love and appreciate so much if you would support me by liking this video to let me know you like this content and of course by subscribing. I might have this smile on my face but let's discuss how we've been hoodwinked and bamboozled about the reality of our 20s. This decade of being in your 20s is just a weird awkward phase of being an adult but also not knowing what the heck you're doing. It seems like every week there is something new that I'm putting on my to-do list that I have never done before or I've never even heard of. It's this weird dichotomy of wishing you were a kid again but also wishing that you were maybe a little further along so you would know what the heck is happening. Maybe it's just my generation but so much of being in your 20s is expecting your life to be so much further than it really is. And of course that can be a lot of different things. One common example is a lot of friends my feel like they should be so much further along because they got this degree and we're supposed to make them all this money, right? Uh, not exactly. One, what did you major in? Oh, oh, you majored in that, girl. Oh, psh, you better go to McDonald's with that, girl. And this whole energy of just thinking we should be further along is not at all helped when you've grown up with Tumblr and Pinterest and Instagram to inform what adulthood is supposed to look like. I am approaching my mid-20s, which is just crazy to say because I feel 12 at heart, but I'm just gonna discuss some things I've learned along the way and I hope can be helpful or can be a really fun discussion with you guys. The first thing is that you do not have to have it all figured out. And if we're being honest with ourselves, it's probably better if we just admit that we don't know what is going on. Like that whole K to 12 situation or the whole college thing, if y'all did that, yeah, that don't mean you actually know anything. There can be so much pressure to just know it all, especially when people are telling you that apparently at this certain age, you're now an adult. I did not sign up for this. I have never tried to rush life. So the fact that I still got to adulthood like this is just ghetto. Every year, my parents telling me, oh, don't grow up. Honey, I'm trying. There is no pause button on this thing. But seriously, I have learned that there is no shame in asking the questions. Learning does not stop just because you moved one tassel to the other side. It doesn't mean anything. One example that I always use is this one girl in my math class. She would ask so many questions, it would irritate everybody. But sure enough, test after test, exam after exam, she got the highest score because she asked the questions that she needed to know to get ahead. So she's not struggling through it, that she can just glide by. Cause if you haven't noticed, the teacher usually knows what they are doing. So you might as well just ask them. And as much as I adore my friends, I have learned the value in going to people that are older and wiser, more established, and have been there, done that. This same principle can be applied to reading books of people who have done the thing that you're striving to do. I'm by to read myself for all the times that I didn't ask for help. Quincy, there's this thing called generations of people, okay? There's been lots of years of people doing all the same things again and again. Why don't you go to one of them people that experience the thing you're experiencing right now instead of just moping and groping around? Just, just try it, baby. Do I always listen? No. But I'm still in my 20s, so I got plenty of time, okay, girl? More of the story, just get the cheat code. It don't mean any less to you. Life is hard enough, baby, with you trying to do stuff on your own, not ask no questions. I have just found so much power in just letting go and just be like, look, I've never heard that before. Can you please clarify what that is? Every single day, I got to call on God and I got to call on my mama because I don't know nothing. About like every 10 minutes, just, hey, God, it's me again. Mama, how do I mail a package? Mommy, can I eat this expired food still? Hola madre, it's Quincy, you know, to eat high. <laughs> yeah, how do I fill this prescription? Cause I'm confused and my head hurt. Y'all just please give yourself a break. I don't know if you've realized this yet, but nobody knows what they doing. We all playing pretend, we all just playing how this is all just a simulation. Oh, this is fake. That is the best way I can make this up. Everything made up, so you might as well just ride it along, ask a lot of questions and get the help you need. These smartest people know that they know nothing. Another thing is you do not have as many friends as you had back in the past. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until towards the end of college that I'm meeting all these beautiful people with so many goals and aspirations. And then when we done, we're all going to disperse to live out those goals, those dreams and aspirations. So if you're trying to stay in touch, 
you really got to put in that work. Like you must really want to talk to those people because naturally you probably aren't. Honestly, all meaningful relationships require that time, effort, and work. Do y'all remember how easy it was to make friends back in the day? You would have somebody lend you a crayon or laugh at your joke. And next thing you know, you're going back home and saying, look, I just met my best friend. I just met my soulmate. So I need her to come over tonight. But at least for me, these proximity surface level friendships just do not hit the same. And of course, as life progressed, you just outgrow people. I used to have so many friends where the only thing we would do is reminisce about the past. And of course, there's a time and place for that. After a while, running through the same memories, doing that woulda, coulda, shoulda thing is very unnecessary and only does so much. Next thing is that the real world is just a lot. On a very regular basis, I am in awe of my mother. She had me at my age today. Ma'am, I don't know how insurance works, nor my car. I'll just put the gas in and take it to the shop and be like, look, cool, cool. I don't I don't know what you're saying. Just, just take my money, dang, I'm stressed. I just wanna drive. And I just look at my mama like a superhero cause I, I don't know how she does it. It might just be me, but do you ever look at the elders in your life just like, so you really work for that many decades? You still have a smile on your face, huh? Speaking of that, these companies do not care about you. And I don't say that to start any mess or be unemployable, but at the end of the day, they might respect you. They might appreciate how diligent you are and what you can do for them. At the end of the day though, they are really just trying to hit their bottom line. You are as replaceable as the replaceable battery in my camera right now. Even when you love your company, you're really content and have no intentions on leaving that place. The smartest thing that I think you can do is just continuously to sharpen those skills in your industry or in your craft, to have that parachute ready and that resume updated at all times. Another thing is that you cannot continuously neglect yourself. In my heart of hearts, I am as nocturnal as they come. I used to just purposely stay up as late as I wanted to with no regard of how early I had to wake up the next morning. But I'm starting to learn the importance of upkeeping a daily routine to help me, especially because I've struggled with anxiety and depression since I was a teenager. As y'all probably can tell, I usually stay pretty optimistic and bubbly, but if I'm sleepy, if I only got a few hours of sleep, I can be pretty cranky. I'm not gonna take it out on nobody, but you might wanna wait until I get my coffee in and I ate some food because like I wouldn't talk to me. I actually kind of don't, like I don't say anything because I am an Aries and if y'all know anything about that sign, we speak our mind. I wanna say two of my signs are Aries, so I'm just extra crazy. You cannot put a price on health. Health is wealth. If you haven't noticed, in your 20s, your metabolism slowing down, you got body parts that's cracking and popping. When I started this video, my back started hurting in a way that it is not ever done before. So I promise you, even those small, subtle, but consistent things can just make a world of a difference, such as taking a walk or just laying down a little bit earlier than you used to. I'm talking to myself right there. Another thing is it is okay to try new things. It is never too late. And being so young and in our 20s, this is the perfect time to continuously try things out. The world is our oyster and we can make the most of it by just doing things that naturally interest you. And not just because it brings you a check. Personally, everyone who's close to me knows I have a lot of interest in a lot of different things. So I've also learned the value of moving in silence because if I told everyone every little thought that's in my head, I might not have any friends anymore because they would be so lost and concerned and confused because what the hell. So in my 20s, I'm starting to learn the power of moving in silence. One of the biggest upsides of this is that I start doing things because I genuinely want to and not for the approval of others. Another really important one is success is not automatic. I personally do not accept any slander of Generation Z or millennials, but I completely agree that we have grown up in this micro wave generation. Just like how I said earlier, when you're little, you think by age 25 to 30, you're gonna have everything together. But in actuality, there is no correlation to success and how many candles is on your birthday cake. Not to mention that success and progress is not linear. So even when you're making those steps forward, there's gonna be some steps backwards. But I feel like that is the beauty of life, that it's not just one thing or the other, it's a combination of the two. This one I'm about to share is my most favorite piece of advice out of them all. Listen to me when I say this, but this is the very best time to fail. I am absolutely the queen 
of watching motivational videos on YouTube. And one of my favorite lessons was fail early and fail often. So many people are afraid and getting in their own way. No matter what it is, it all comes down to this one thing. How is being afraid and waiting to do that thing going to lead you any closer to the goal you have in mind for yourself? The only thing it does for me is when I finally build up the courage to do that thing, I only wish I had done it sooner. So here's just a short personal story about myself. When I relaunched my channel at the beginning of 2021, I so contemplated just holding off, just waiting until I got better equipment or I could know how to do lighting better, all those things. But I knew if I just waited for things to be perfect, then I'd just be further and further away from where I see myself, where I see my channel and where I see my creative side. Then I realized it was probably the motivational videos that the faster I failed, the faster I got to where I wanted to be. So already I am seeing vast improvements in how I speak to the camera, how I edit my videos, how I even apply my makeup, child. Ooh. And although ultimately I'm nowhere near where I want to go, I can't get there if I don't start, right? I've been saying this thing a lot, especially in 2020 and now in 2021, but it's progress over perfection. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this entire video. Please like this video and subscribe for content three times a week. And please turn this monologue into some dialogue by letting me know what your thoughts are. What is something I might've left out about our 20s? I am so excited to see y'all's feedback in the comments and to see y'all in my next upload in just a few days. Bye.